everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning so sa araw na ito ito ang ating topic so how to determine whether the given order pair is a solution of the inequality so, this time, mag-itetest po natin yung mga order pair kung siya ba ay solution ng inequality o hindi. So, paano natin siya gagawin? So, samahan nyo ako. So, simulan na natin siya. So, let's have number 1. So, we have 2x minus y is greater than 2, 10. And ang ating order pair ay 7 tsaka 2. So, itest natin kung si 7 over, uh, si 7, 2 ay uh, solution ni 2x minus y is greater than 10. So, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin si order pair sa ating x at sa ating y. So, ang ating x dito ay 7 at ang ating y ay 2. So, ito yung ating x value at ito yung ating y value. So, substitute lang po natin siya sa ating inequality. So, si x papalitan lang natin ng 7 at si y, papalitan lang natin ng 2. And then, syempre, isisolve natin siya. So, 2 times 7 is equals to 14 minus 2 is greater than 10. So, 14 minus 2 is equals to 12. So, it's 12 is greater than 10. So, true or false. So, pag nag-true siya, Ibig sabihin, solution po siya ng ating inequality. At kapag nag-false, hindi po siya solution. So, since mas malaki po si 12 kaysa kay 10, so true po siya. So, ibig sabihin, si 7, 2 ay solution ng ating inequality na 2x minus y is greater than 10. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Para ma-determine natin na ang isang order pair ay solution na ating inequality, kailangan lang natin siyang i-substitute sa ating mga variable na si x at saka si y. So, subukan ulit natin. So, let's have number 2. So, we have negative 3x plus y is less than negative 12. Ang um, order pair natin ay 0, negative 5. So, kapag... Uh, nag to, solution siya. Pero kapag nag-false, hindi po siya solution. So, ang ating x value ay 0 at ang ating y value ay negative 5. So, i-substitute lang po natin siya sa ating inequality. And then, i-solve natin. So, we have negative 3 times 0 is 0 minus 5 is less than negative 12. So, 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So, is negative 5 is less than negative 12. So, mas mataas po si negative 5 kaysa kay negative 12. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay false. So, si 0, negative 5 ay hindi po solution ng ating inequality na negative 3x plus y is less than negative 12. So, let's try another one. So, we have number 3. X plus 3Y is less than or equal to 8 at 4, negative 1. So, itest natin kung si 4, negative 1 ay solution ng ating inequality. So, ang ating X value ay 4 at ang ating Y value ay negative 1. So, substitute lang po natin siya sa ating inequality. And then, isolve natin. So, 3 times negative 1 is equals to negative 3. So, 4 minus 3 is equals to 1. So, S1 is less than or equal to 8. So, syempre, mas malaki po si 8 kaysa kay 1. So, ibig sabihin siya po ay true. So, therefore, 4 and negative 1 is the solution of our inequality, which is x plus 3y is less than or equal to 8. Number 4. We have 9 plus x is greater than or equal to y. As negative 6, 3. So, ganun pa rin. Substitute natin sila sa ating mga variables. So, ang ating x ay negative 6. At ang ating y ay 3. Then, isolve natin. So, 9 minus 6 is uh, greater than or equal to 3. So, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So, is 3 is greater than or equal to 3. So, syempre, true po yan. 
So, dahil nagturo siya, si negative 6,3 ay solution ng ating inequality. So, tell which of the given order pairs satisfy the inequality 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. So, ito yung ating mga order pair. So, alin kaya sa limang order pair ang uh, solution na ating given na inequality na 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. So, isolve natin siya isa-isa. So, kapag ang order pair natin ay 4, 2, tingnan nga natin kung siya ay solution ng ating inequality. So, isubstitute lang po natin si x at saka si y. So, ang ating x ay 4 at ang ating y ay solve natin. So, we have 12 minus 4 is greater than 6. So, 12 minus 4 is equals to 8. So, it, uh, 8 is greater than 6. So, that is true. So, true po siya. So, ibig sabihin, si letter A na may order pair na 4, 2 ay solution ng ating inequality na 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. So, let's have letter B. So, 1, 1. So, ganun pa rin. I-substitute lang natin siya sa ating inequality. Then, isolve. So, 1 is greater than 6. Obviously, it is false. So, hindi po siya solution ng ating inequality. So, let's have letter C, 0, 0. So, substitute lang natin siya ulit sa ating inequality. So, we have 0 is greater than 6. So, false pa rin. So, hindi siya solution ng ating inequality. So, let's have letter D, 2, negative 4. So, ang x natin ay 2 at ang y natin ay negative 4. So, i-substitute lang po natin siya. So, 6 plus 8 is 14. So, 14 is greater than 6. So, syempre, mas malaki si 14 kesa kay 6. So, true po siya. So, ibig sabihin, si 2, negative 4 ay solution ng ating inequality na 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. And let's have letter E, 0, 2, uh, 0, 2. So, ang ating x ay 0 at ang ating y ay 2. So, substitute lang natin sa ating inequality. Then, solve. So, negative 4 is greater than 6. So, false po. So, ibig sabihin, si letter E ay hindi solution na ating inequality. So, ang sagot sa tanong na tell which of the given order pairs satisfy the inequality. So, ang uh, base ating solution na nasolve natin, ang solution po ni 3x minus 2y is greater than 6 ay letter A which is 4, 2 and letter D which is 2, negative 4. And the rest, hindi po siya solution. So, sana meron kayo natutunan sa araw nito. So, ganun lang po kasimple kung paano madetermine na ang isang order pair ay solution o hindi ng ating inequality. So, syempre, isubstitute pero lang po ang ating order pair is the ating variable na si x at si y. And then, kapag nag-true siya, big sabihin, solution po siya. At kapag hindi, big sabihin siya ay hindi solution na ating given inequality. So, yun lang po. Salamat! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!